Okay, let's go over number seven for the water potential problems. So what I like to do with a complex problem like that is I like to create two columns, one for the beaker and one for the cell. So, and I put down the information that I'm given. So I highlighted in yellow what I'm given. I'm given the temperature, which is the degree Celsius plus 273 to make it into a Kelvin temperature. I'm given that Psi P is an open beaker, so Psi P is zero. And I'm given the concentration is 0.4 molar concentration of sucrose. I'm also given the Psi P for the cell is three bars. So I'm being asked what is the concentration um, of sucrose outside the cell. So the first thing I need to do is figure out which of the two, the cell or the beaker, has more information. So I have three pieces of information, I only have two. And so obviously using the equation ICRT, I have C, R is a constant, T I'm given, that'll work. So then I go to the beaker and I go, okay, Psi P plus Psi S is the water potential. And I know that the Psi P for the beaker is zero. So zero is Psi P, so Psi S is the same as Psi, water potential. So I figure out Psi, Psi is, I plug in the numbers, ionization is one for sucrose because it doesn't ionize. If it was um, sodium chloride, it would be two because it ionizes into sodium and chlorine. But sucrose does not, it stays as sugar in solution. So the ionization is one, it's one particle in solution. My concentration is given as 0.4 molar. My constant R is always 0.0831, it's a constant. And then my temperature in Kelvin. And then I do my multiplication and I come up with psi equals negative 9.74 bars. So I know psi, and because I know psi, I know psi s, because psi zero, I mean psi p is zero, so psi, as we said, equals psi s, so they're the same. Not that we need that right now. Okay, so if, these, if the, the problem says that the beaker and the cell are in equilibrium, which means that water potential psi for both of them is the same. So now I can use this number, negative 9.74, in working my equation for the cell. I have three variables, I can figure the other. So I go back to the cell, I go psi equals psi p plus psi s, psi equals, we're given psi p is three, so psi equals three plus the negative ICRT because psi s is negative ICRT, so I'm just substituting that. So then I put in my value for psi, which I figured out. So I say, okay, negative 9.74 equals three plus ICRT, I have those values. I, I solve for C and I come up with C equals 0.52 molar. So now I know this one, which is what I wanted in the first place, is the concentration is 0 0.52 molar, and that is the answer, and we're done. So to go over again, figure out which one you have more information on, which means that you can solve for it using ICRT, and then once you figure that, if it's in equilibrium, then your water potential will be the same. Now you have three pieces of information on the other side, which is the cell, and then you can solve using your equation. And I hope that was helpful.